In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use level of detail calculations to sort a view by the total of the last n days. This is something that used to be much more complicated with uh, using table calculations in previous versions of Tableau. But with the introduction of level of detail expressions in version 9, this has become much, much simpler. First, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put order date in the rows and look at it at the, at the uh, by day and look at sales. So the first thing I need to do is I need to identify those dates that are in the last n days. Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to create a parameter. And I'm, this is the parameter that my users are going to use to determine how many days they want to summarize. So I'm just going to call it last n days and make it an integer. Hit OK. And when I show that parameter control, let's just default it to 10. Um, you can see, you know, we haven't done anything yet because uh, we haven't told Tableau what to do with the parameter. So I'm going to go ahead and create a calculated field, and I'm going to call it in last n days. And it's just simply going to be a date diff calculation. I'm going to say at the day level, I want, you, I want Tableau to compare order date to the maximum order date. So I'm going to use a level of detail expression here, max order date. So that's going to give me the maximum order date across my entire data set. And I'm going to say, is that less than last n days? And I'm saying less than because the counting starts at zero. So I hit OK, and now I get a Boolean calculation. I'm going to put that in the rows. And if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see I've got, I have 10 uh, 10 rows that uh, have the that are within my last 10 days. Okay, so that's working perfectly. All right, so the next thing that I need to do is I need to create a calculation that returns the sales for the last 10 days by region. So first I'm going to put region in the columns, and I need to create a calculated field. And I'm going to call this my last 10 days sales. And I'm going to start by creating a calculation that says, if I'm in the last n days, then I'm going to do a level of detail calculation that is fixed uh, on last, in last n days and region. And it's going to return the sum of sales. Close off my level of detail expression. And then I'm just going to hit end. And lastly, I want to wrap the whole thing oops, in a min function. OK, we hit OK. And then if we put this in the view, you can see we have four different distinct values, 64, 24, 42, 23, 67, 44, and 93, 30. So, um, now that that's basically just I, I like building it out like this because it shows me that my calculation is working correctly. So from here, what I do is I go ahead and I put order date onto the column shelf, and let's just say I want to build a view by day. That is my sales, and uh, by region, and I simply want to sort my regions in descending order by my new field, last end day sales. Hit OK. And there we go. We see we've got west, south, central, east. Let's go over here and check. West, south, central, east. Looks good. We change this so we can go ahead and show our parameter control and maybe look at the last 90 days. And when I look back over here at my table, you see for my last 90 days, it should go, looks like it should go east, west, south, central. East, west, south, central. Works great. And this dimension, or I'm sorry, this measure that's on the row shelf doesn't have to be sales. But I'm just sorting by the sales. So I could maybe make this a, uh, let's maybe smooth this out a little bit. And let's look at the moving, uh, maybe we want to look at a seven day moving average. Something like that. Hit OK. And you'll see it smooths my lines out a little bit. That's something some people like to do. But anyway, uh, that's this week's tip, and I hope you find it useful.